Hi guys and welcome back. I am super stoked for today's video because I got my hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm. This is a serum boosted skin tint. I have mentioned this before. A lot of foundation, even though this is not a foundation, by the way, but a lot of products that have skincare infused in them, my face really likes. So if you want to see how this goes, this wear test, all that jazz, keep on watching. So this is what the little unicarton looks like. Simple, nothing crazy. I think it's really cute. I got mine in the shade one. I do think that there are 16 shades in this. Again, it's not a foundation, it's a skin tint. So that is why they don't have a lot of shade. Here it is, the packaging on this is very simple as well, nothing crazy. Little plastic container here. But I do like that for travel purposes, which is what I'm really excited about because camping season's coming up, vacation season is coming up. So if I like this, this might be in rotation a lot for me. This little thing though was 42 bucks. I got mine from Ulta the day it launched and I was like $42. That is, that's a little much. This better do a lot of good things and look flawless for it to be $42. I know it's high end, but for that, for this packaging and then what it is, I don't know. I ain't sold on the price. The price, uh, it's a little, a little pricey. The price is a little pricey. So it says it provides sheer delight coverage, eight skin loving ingredients, a natural finish, and a serious skincare for your skin. Claims that it'll plump fine lines and wrinkles. Natural looking with a healthy glow, weightless, breathable, a second skin feel. Silky texture melts into skin for a seamless, smooth finish, quick, easy application, blend with fingers, free of phthalates, mineral oil, talc, sulfates, paragons, paragons, and fragrance, cruelty free. Um, lots of skin loving ingredients, and it does say to use your fingers. I'm not a big fan of using fingers for my products, uh, but because they are pushing the fact that you should use your fingers, I will do that. I did have a brush out here. Um, I might play to see if it kind of does the same with both claims not to use primer Just to go in and swipe right on your face. So again, I got my shade in the lightest shade One here it is right here. This is again the lightest shade. This is for neutral undertones everything Beyond this shade seemed like it would be too dark. I did a shade match thing online this is what we're going with. So again, we gotta swipe right on the face, no primer. It says to start inward and swipe outward. I don't know how much to use or we're just finding out together. I have a lot of little friends on my face, so we're gonna see if this can cover them and what that'll look like. Here we go, okay. Let me go up here again. All right, so I am going to try it with a brush. Let's just let's just see what happens here. Blending out very, very nicely. I can see the very sheer light coverage happening, which is the claim here. But as I'm blending it with the brush, it's blending very nicely. Looks very pretty on the skin, no complaints there. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I do not wanna touch my face with dirty hands. And then I'm gonna blend this out with my fingers. So hold on one second. I should have waited to put this on the side so we can see a comparison, but oh well, little rookie mistake here. All right, I'm assuming the warmth of your hands you know, does good things with the formula, which I get. A lot of people like to use their hands when they put on foundations anymore. So I understand. If you see this over here, I burnt myself with a curling iron, so it's not the product. I don't like the way it's going over my little, my little friends on my face. And one reason I say that, cause they're in the, you know, scabby stage. Cause I love to pick them. Um, it's going over them a little weird, sticking to the dry patches, which does not look good. I still actually think I prefer the brush, just being honest. 
I get the marketing behind it, just trying to make it easy for people to take it on the go, put it on your face, blend it out. You know, I get that. There might be a time and place for me to do that, but for me, I just think I would rather use my brush because it blended out really pretty with the brush. All right, I'm gonna hold real still for you so you guys can kind of see what's going on with the way that it's looking. I like the shade. The shade is 100% gonna work for me. It does look pretty on the skin. It gives a little bit of a glow, which I like. Some people might not be a fan. Some people might love that. Uh, I really like the way that that looks. I don't like the way that it looks on my pimples. I'm going to go in and see if I can make it look any better. No, it's just clinging to those dry patches really bad. I'm just gonna go in with a little more under my eyes since I'm not gonna put, you know, any concealer or anything under my eyes. I do like the way it gives like a natural look to the skin. I like the way that it feels. I'm a little nervous with my skin type because I would say I have combo skin. So for me, I'm curious how oily I'm gonna get with this. I wouldn't say this product is buildable and I don't think it claims that. It feels really nice on the skin, lightweight. I don't feel like I really have any type of makeup on my face. It feels like I have skincare on, which is nice, it's not heavy. I'm just gonna go in with some blush. I have some errands to run today. So I just want to put a little bit of blush on, a little bit of mascara on. Okay, so I've only had this on like five minutes, if that. It is getting right into my under eye wrinkles already, like settling into them. I don't have any concealer on. I just have this product on I do not like that that's why I'm wondering if I should set underneath of the eyes I might set one eye. I don't know they claim not to set anything do they I think I don't know I'm just gonna put the tiniest tiniest bit of powder underneath because I already know that it creases underneath of the eyes so let me just do this so here we go here's what everything looks like just with a little blush highlight mascara and lip oil i hate the way it looks on my zits but there's nothing i can do about that because i do want to give this product a fair shot i don't know if i necessarily like the way it looks by itself i have a feeling i would like this more using concealer and setting my whole face doing my whole normal routine but i get what they're trying to do with it it might be gorgeous it might be amazing if I do it like that but um, I'm gonna roll with this today to give the product its shot how it's supposed to be worn even though there's no rules to make up I'm just doing doing it as they are marketing it you know so here we are I'm gonna do a full wear test um, I'm hoping to get get a good wear test today it's about 10 o'clock in the morning so I will be back later on today and let's keep our fingers crossed and I'm not a grease ball <laughs> uh, so I will see you guys later okay so I am back please excuse my hair I tried to fix it <laughs> I got caught in the rain when I was down at my chicken coop and I'm not talking a little rain I'm talking pouring rain it's been raining so much here lately where I live it's like driving me nuts probably driving a lot of people nuts so back to this beauty balm it has been close to seven hours i have some thoughts so i will be a little repetitive hate the way it looks on my little pimples i did have some dry spots up here that i felt like it clinged to early on but now that seems to be gone so i i don't know why that is I feel like I'm still super creasy underneath of my eyes. Not terrible, but a little creasy under my eyes. Didn't use a lot of powder, uh, but I do not like the way it looked. Like for me, I just don't feel pretty in this makeup that I have on. I, I, for me, this is a no-go. 
what I want to try with this because I don't want to give up on it I want to use it as my foundation and do my makeup as I usually do with my setting powders and setting spray and things like that my concealer my bronzer all that stuff like I usually do my makeup and then see how I like it and how it wears so I think what I want to do tomorrow when I'm getting ready for work I'm going to do a full face of makeup, but I want to give this another shot and put it in the video and give my thoughts on that. Those are my thoughts right now. Hopefully things will be better tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow, give you my thoughts, final opinions. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so I just did a whole spiel about this and forgot to push my microphone um, button to have sound so let me try this again let me try to shorten it up because i feel like i talked your head off so this morning before work i used this as like a foundation the foundation step in my routine um kept it still more on the light side a little bit of blush highlight i did powder uh, nothing too crazy kept everything minimal I'm now home after a long work day mind you I work at, at a dog groomer so my face got splashed with water it's still raining <laughs> dogs getting baths shaking splattering water on my face sweating everything looks good I really do like the way it looks I am oily so keep that in mind uh, for anybody that is combo or has oily skin I am oily. This is no touch-ups. The skin looks super pretty. I definitely like it better using my concealer and using my powders. So this is the way I would wear this. I would not wear it like I did yesterday at all. Makeup should make you feel confident and pretty. And yesterday I did not feel that way. Um, this reminds me of like the clean girl makeup trend. And I just did a video on that. That would be a good one to wear when you want the like coverage. I just don't feel like this really gives you much coverage at all. It feels like skincare, which a lot of people like. Don't get me wrong. And I know that this is a skin tint. It's marketed as a skin tint. When you want light days and don't want to put a full face on, but you want a clean canvas type situation, this is great. Barefoot, barefoot. The wet and wild bare focus niacinamide skin tint i actually like this better this does make me oily i did use this in my clean girl makeup video this gives me a little more coverage i think it's just personal preference what you like what you're going for what your skin type is do you have a breakout there's different reasons for different products for me personally i would prefer a lighter coverage foundation doing all my normal makeup routine thing or go bare faced with maybe a little blush highlight and some mascara the way i wore it yesterday no the way i wore it today i could use this again for sure or i can mix this i can put this on and then put like a light foundation over it there's ways i can find to use this i just can't justify the 42 dollar price point at all whatsoever i think that is too expensive for this i don't get enough out of this to where i'm like this is worth the the price point point. and a lot of people like this i read a lot of comments yesterday watched some videos a lot of people really really like this that's why i'm kind of like what am i not getting here i think it's personal preference on what you look for when it comes to your products and where you want to spend your dollar i don't like to tell people like do not buy this this is awful it's horrible whatever if you want to try some something out and spend your heart earn money on it go for it i'm also an advocate for if you don't like it return it so there it is i tried to shorten it up this time around because i just talked and talked and talked last time and i don't want this video to be super super long what are your thoughts on this will you try it have you tried it do you like it let me know. I'm really, really curious what your thoughts are. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.